What do you hit? Oh. I'm, gonna ask you a I'm gonna make you answer like your mom. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll answer for it. Yeah, so I was sitting there, you know, got those curveballs, you know, um, probably looking for a curveball there. <laughs> got it up and put a good swing on it. I think you definitely did a good Max impression, <laughs> but in all seriousness, and tonight was a special night for a lot of reasons. For his time, it's not like I've seen play for the first time in a long time. And you get to see just one of your teammates emotional and have one of those moments. What is that like for just a brother, a team, and a friend? Um, it's big, especially for him. You know, he's like the nicest guy in the clubhouse. Um, the big teddy bear, he's big, but he's just a teddy bear. Um, and you know, just there's a lot of stuff around the world that you know guys don't have any control of. And for that dream for him to come through true, I think you know every parent should be able to see their son actually at this level. Um, for them to see it, it's I know it's got to be emotional for him. You think about just this win tonight, you guys pulling off on the, on the, at the end. Uh, just what are these moments going to say about this group? It seem to happen often, but it still is a, a big moment for us. Yeah, um, like I said, we got a good team, good lineup up and down, and you know we have ways to manufacture runs. Um, whether it's the blue pit and then pinch hitting CT for him to steal the bag and, you know, putting, giving us a chance to put in a position to tie a game like that with Peralta, you know, coming through with that hit. There's a lot of ways, you know, that this team could beat you. Mookie's last game in Boston and how he rounded and scored on that, did that remind you a little bit of tonight, you know, scoring from second on that little blue? I, was, I wasn't there. Okay. I was on the I.L., so I was in Arizona, but you sure. Saw it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but how many times have you seen that? Just on a hit that you wouldn't think most guys would score from second on. Um, goes yeah. all the way to win it. Yeah, he's a five tool player. Um, that's why he gets paid the big bucks. He's, he does it all. Um, so he's a fast guy. He's, you know, for him to score doesn't surprise me like that. You know, I've just I've seen it so often already. How good have you felt at the plate since you came back from the IL? The numbers are good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> really? <laughs> You know, I feel the last two days I feel better, but early on it was just kind of like, like I said, I got to play every day. I mean, it just sucks when you're, like I said yesterday, kind of repeating it. It's, you know, you're off and on, off and on, it's tough to get in like a rhythm in the group. Um, so the biggest thing for me is being in there every day and playing every single day and, you know, getting that timing and getting all that stuff, you know, that's just that's what hitting is. Huh? No, no. I love Detroit. Um, you know, um, can't say that about Houston. Just playing. <laughs> but Detroit, I love. Um, but no, nah, Detroit's—they're the team that gave me a chance when no one else did. They're the only ones knocking back in 2014 when I was released. So they always have a special place in my heart. You know, seeing all the familiar faces and BP and everything like that, and saying hi to all of them is—it's cool.